name is Troy Elmore. I'm 26 years old and I live in Costa Mesa, California. I'm a surfer, shaper, a skateboarder, um, fashionista. Surfing to me is everything. It's the first thing I think of when I wake up in the morning is how the waves are or if I'm what boards am I going to ride and it's usually the last thing I think of when I go to bed and how the waves are going to be the next day and it's weird when I don't surf I don't feel like myself it's just something that I need to feel like myself and get through the day I don't know if like for people who don't surf have that same feeling for something else like golfing or whatever but that's what surfing is to me and that's when I feel most sane and happy is when I'm surfing every day and it totally controls my brain and how I work, you know, I everything I do is based around surfing and that's the reason I started shaping and stuff is surfing. My shaping, it's like what I'm doing is to involve myself more in surfing even when I'm not surfing. I'm making, I'm spending more time shaping for the little time that I go and surf. It's, all duty now for surfing, you know? Skateboarding was the most successful thing for me when I was young. I feel like you just go out your front door and have fun with when you're a young kid and I feel like skateboarding has influenced my surfing a lot and the type of boards that I like to ride. My favorite board to ride is probably a twin fin and that's like the closest feeling to riding a skateboard. To me it's, it just feels like the perfect crossover, you know, it's loose and fast and it feels like you're skateboarding and when I'm skateboarding it, that's how I feel surfing. I'm really inspired by a lot of surfer shapers around my age, people like Ryan Birch and Ellis Erickson and Tyler Warren. To see them put all this hard work into shaping and, and surf that well, I think it's it's such a personal thing to shape a board and then go ride it. And that's what gets me stoked on shaping boards is that I shape this board. I'm really influenced by Skip Fry, Jerry Lopez, David Nueva, 
you know, I watched a lot of old surfing videos growing up and it just seemed like what they were doing, I don't know, caught my eye so much more than watching a current surfing movie when I was younger. I shape in Costa Mesa, California at a small glass shop called Golden State Glassing. It's really cool, it's a very small operation glass shop, you know. My boards come out of there, a few other people like Tanner Prairie, Alex Nost. It's just a really cool small glass shop that's very quality, you know, driven. It's not like this big surfboard factory where we're just trying to get through a hundred shortboards or anything like that. It's very nice, classic, simple glass shops. The reason I started shaping was probably just curious on how to make a surfboard. I would always go watch when my boards were made by people that were shaping them and to be honest when I would watch them that the last thing I ever wanted to do was shape. I, I remember saying just like oh man that's the last thing I will ever want to do. Like you're dusty, it's so much work but I guess it just after the first board I shaped it just fascinated me. It like caught my mind to I would just always think about it like oh I can make a better board now and and then getting boards from other people I felt like oh this isn't right or this isn't right so I when I started shaping boards for myself I there's no one really to blame but me so it drove me to be able to make a board that I thought worked good and I just really wanted to shape a board that fit me and fit how the way fit the way that I surfed I remember riding someone else's board that they shaped that was around my age and I just thought to myself like I I can do this and that's when I started shaping. I was when I was done riding his board and felt how good it worked and that's what made me believe in myself and start shaping boards.